Illness is what you would call, you would basically call it food poisoning, agreed? Mm -hmm. So there's two types, and I know that these words you don't really see out in the public, but when you study epidemiology or public health, you have to learn these words. And so there is a term called food intoxication, and there's another term called food infection. And food intoxication seems kind of a weird term. It results from ingesting the toxins that are associated with the bacteria. So sometimes it's not the fact that the organisms are colonizing the stomach and the esophagus and the small intestine. It could just merely be a few organisms, but of course they're making a toxin that's going to be deadly. Botulism is the perfect example. Food infection is when it's actually the colonization of these microbes. So for instance, Shigella or Salmonella. These organisms colonize the stomach, they colonize the small intestine, the large intestine, and next thing you know, you've got typhoid fever. So either it's the, the, the toxicity from the uh, toxins or the actual colonization of the organisms themselves. There's two types of food poisoning. Did you know that the most common food poison in the, U the, food poisoning in the U.S. is staph? Want me to describe this to you? This is what happens... When sometime during the day you think, 